Hey you guys, it's Stella and today it is so good to be filming back in my home studio. Any videos you see with my last set were pre-recorded, but I still gotta put them out. That's why my hair may still be blonde. So for today, we are doing a Spanx haul. This is a shapewear video. I have put off Spanx until near the end of this series because Spanx is just so expensive to me. I've been very vocal about how I feel about Spanx. I think they're a great product, but I also think they are extremely expensive. I'm just gonna see if it's worth the price. So I got multiple styles. I purchased three on the Spanx website. It came up to $220. The other two I got on Poshmark because it was two for $50, which is so much more my speed. But they're all Spanx brand. Just Two of them happen to be used, and I just thought about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Hello. Hello. So without further ado, let's get into the Spanx haul. In this Spanx haul, I did get items that were not all the same coverage, just so we can see and play around. So these look a little big for like shapewear, what I would think. This is Simplicity Slimming Essentials. So I think this is more, it's a high-waisted shaper. So this is really more to wear every day. It's comfort over like sucking everything in. So I'm not expecting to have like this full hourglass figure. I'm just interested to see what we're gonna get out of these. I did order these in a size 2X. I wanted to show you guys what I am wearing. This is the dress we're gonna be doing all the Spanx with. This is with no underwear, no shapewear, no shaper panty. This is just me with a bra on in this dress. So here is like a 360 view for you. So we are gonna go try the first pair of Spanx on. I'm about to go put these on. I just wanted everyone to go see the $72 price tag. Okay, so the first shaper, um, I wear shaper this style. It is like a full brief. It goes from here to my knees. I wear this style all the time. It's actually my favorite type of shapewear. But I feel like this one is just an everyday one and it's light enough to wear every day. It goes on so easily. Um, it didn't feel like it was any extra effort. I'm gonna do a full 360, but I just want you to see real quick. It's just smoothing out. It's not really giving me hips and shape like a really strong shapewear would. It's really just kind of doing the comfortable everyday basics, which I don't mind because that's what these are made for. So here is this first piece of shapewear. This is like a way tighter feel than the one I have on now. So I know this is gonna take a little bit more effort to get into, um, but these are mid thigh and we're just gonna go see how these fit. So this brown shape where I actually got in a size 3X, um, which is one size bigger than the last one. And this one fits comfortably, but the other one didn't feel too small. So I'm really, don't know what's happened in there, but I do like how this fits. I don't think I would have liked it in 2X. This one gives me a little bit more shape than the last one did. Like I told you, it felt tighter, so I already kind of expected that. I do like the fit. I thought it was gonna go mid-stomach. It actually goes all the way up, unless it's too big for me and it's not supposed to do that. I think these are too big for me. <laughs> and I only say that because I think it's supposed to be a brief. I think they're supposed to go from here to, because it said mid thigh, but they go all the way down to my knee and it goes all the way up here. I think they're too big. I do like the shape that they give me. I'm not mad at it. This price tag I didn't even look at. I'll make sure to look at it when I take it off. Oh, this one was 58. These are 58. Here are these Sphinx. today are equivalent to ones I wear every day, which are these full Spanx. It's gonna take me a solid five minutes to get into these. Two hours later. Last time you guys saw me, it was 6.20 p.m. It's now 8.30. Uh, I, I had a battle with the Spanx and I lost. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. I was trying to put them on. They're 3X, they're just not gonna fit, they're not gonna work and it's 8 37 8 38 excuse me p.m and i am putting in the towel my hair is up i am defeated and not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand no piece of fabric is gonna do that to me. i quit the video i was done i had walked away and i was over it and i let this little piece of fabric win and at 8 30 i said no no 
you're gonna go get those spanks on they're your size make them fit there is no way in hell these would get past my thighs there's no way it would have been possible i am gonna move on all right i'm gonna get myself back together so the next Spanx I have to show you guys today are in a size 3X as well. These were $68. These are the equivalent of those Lane Bryant panties I always rave about, always. So I'm hoping that these are kind of comparable. I'm really interested to see how these are gonna look on me and if they shape me out or not. So let's get to it. So this shaper panty I have on is really not even comparable to the Lane Bryant one. The Lane Bryant is a true panty. This one is just really like a really lightweight shapewear, but it does have a lot of structure to it. Just as easy to put on, but you get way more coverage with this, so I don't think it's a really fair comparison. So scratch all the money stuff I was talking about before, because you are paying for a piece of shapewear with this. I like it though because it is the same amount of comfort as the panty I was wearing, but not only that, this one has a latch, so you can just unlatch it and go pee. I've never had shaper like that. It's amazing. It's amazing. So definitely would not compare, but it is a great, you know, everyday piece. Not mad at it. My butt feels a little flat in it though. You know, we had this conversation. I just don't want my butt compromised and I feel like my butt's a little compromised in this one. Not loving that, but it's okay. So here is the shaper panty, I guess. I'm actually really excited to show you. I got this in a 2X. It is a reversible skirt liner that shapes you out. So I was gonna try it with a skirt, but then I'm like, I'm wearing a dress, so whatever effect a skirt's gonna give you, a dress is gonna give you anyway. And if we're being honest, my name is Stella Williams. My shirts are to the top of my ass usually, so bottom of my ass. Usually. So this is a reversible piece, so I'm gonna go try this on. I guess it's just supposed to shape you out. And I like that it's reversible because you're getting two for one. And I like that, that's vibes. So let's go try on this last piece of shapewear. So this last piece of shapewear I'm gonna show you today is the reversible skirt. Now when I did it put into consideration is that I could just pull it all the way up if I wanted to. And I wanted to, so that's what I did. It's actually stopping right here, but it's supposed to stop like down here. But I'm, when I, this is, my skirts are like this long. I like regular pieces of shapewear better, even if I was wearing a skirt. I get what this is supposed to do. But if you're gonna pay the same price, I feel like you should get the benefits of like a full shapewear, because this is open crotch, which makes it real, like I don't think I could pee in this. Like if I had to pee, it would, I would have to take it off. Like it's a nice shaper, but to me it's like a slip, you know, like when you wear a slip for a little bit of shape. But for me in my life, even though I wear a lot of dresses like this, I prefer a more traditional piece of shapewear because there's more fluidity in it. You can move in it. Can't really move in this because it's a skirt. So your thighs are like staying together. So I would definitely recommend a normal piece of shapewear. So here is this reversible skirt. cheaper shapewear like there is a certain quality to space that I'm gonna give them the credit for they're probably the OGs for the reason because I've gone through a lot of shapewear as you guys have seen on this channel a lot and you know consistently good quality this is probably one of the better hauls where it's just consistently good piece after piece after piece after piece because um, a lot of times when I do the Amazons and the Walmarts they are very very hit or miss and they're in China sizing it's confusing this is like pretty sure to the point um, I did have that one piece that was my size and there was no way that was going to fit. So I don't know what's going on with that. I ain't claiming her and she ain't going to claim me. Other than that, I'm interested to see how these compare to my Shaper Mint. And I'm interested to see how these compare to Skim. So I'm probably going to hold on to these pieces for a minute. And I'm going to do a comparison video only because 
those are like my top three overall right now, Shaper Mint, Skims, and I guess now Spanx. So I'm really interested to see who's going to be the crown and who's going to take the crown and who's the winner. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. As always, love Stella. Bye.